Insurers are fired up about California regulations, and they're right. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. California is facing an insurance crisis for homeowners as well as for commercial businesses. More and more underwriters are refusing to sell new policies. The latest is State Farm, the largest provider of home insurance in California and the U.S. It recently announced that it has stopped accepting new applications for all personal and business property and casualty insurance within the state of California. Existing policies won't be affected. State Farm isn't alone. All state, the fourth largest provider in the state, has ceased selling new home insurance policies last year. Chubb, AIG, and other underwriters have also been scaling back. These pullbacks will particularly hurt home buyers and small businesses, delivering another blow to a state facing a huge and expanding budget deficit. With insurance availability shrinking, would-be home purchases can turn to the state's Fair Access Insurance Requirements Plan. FAIR. FAIR is a last resort, expensive, bare-bones insurance seller that covers mainly fire losses. Because the state's perverse, counterproductive regulations, FAIR plan enrollments have exploded, almost doubling since 2019. FAIR is supposed to be actuarially sound and is funded by assessments on private insurers. But typical of government, the plan has a big deficit. Combined with more desperate would-be home buyers turning to FAIR, this means more assessments on current providers, expenses regulators won't let insurers recover. What's happening in California should be a wake-up call for the all-too-many politicians and regulators who indulge in make-believe policies that end up inflicting unnecessary harm. Sacramento's sins here are comprehensive. Regulators have suppressed prices for years. Despite widespread wildfires, average premiums in the state of California are one-third lower than in other states with serious fire risks, and two-thirds lower than in Florida with its hazards of seasonal hurricanes. The state won't allow the cost of reinsurance, whereby risks are spread to other companies, a sound and essential business practice, to be priced into insurers' premiums. It won't allow premiums to begin to recover their gargantuan losses from the wildfires of recent years. California blamed the State Farm bombshell, aside from the usual charges of greed, to climate change. That rationale is a smokescreen for regulatory malfeasance. California's land management over the years has been atrocious. Fires for decades have been aggressively suppressed, allowing the accumulation of underbrush that has made extensive areas open to devastating firestorms. The wisdom of indigenous tribes of the past in engaging in controlled burns to prevent such catastrophes has been ignored. Worse, California has been oblivious to what is done in other parts of the country today, particularly the southeast. Fires involving millions of acres are not suppressed. The record in California for one-year insured losses to wildfires is almost 30 times that of the state of Texas, and even more than in other states. The lesson is clear. Even in California, reality can't be ignored forever. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. (music) 